The female figure who holds with its right hand a sword, with the left a balance is currently used in several places as a symbol of justice. This figure, the Greek goddess Themis, who originally had her eyes open, was portrayed blindfolded by a German artist in the 16th century. The three basic elements had a meaning. The balance in equilibrium representing equality. The sword representing the ability to exercise the power of justice. And the blindfold as a symbol of impartiality. This image reminds us of chapter 45 of Ezekiel, where the functions of the princess who manages the finances of the ceremonial feast is highlighted. In the text, they are accused of corruption by using fraudulent weights and measures in collecting the people's offerings. From verse 9, we read, Thus says the Lord God, Enough, O princes of Israel! Remove violence and plundering, execute justice and righteousness, and stop dispossessing my people, says the Lord God. You shall have honest scales, an honest ephah, and an honest bath. You know, corruption is not something new. The prophet Ezekiel had already dealt with it before. The problem of today's message is that the behavior of princes should be the model for the rest of the people. Corruption is not right on any social level, but when it reaches the upper echelons, it influences others, thus becomes an epidemic. Currently, I have seen a lot of news about corruption, theft, and fraud. But what strikes me is that the men who should be the representatives of the people are the first to harm the people. It's sad. In our day, justice is with a blindfold, but no longer as a symbol of impartiality, but a shame. For honesty is an increasingly rare adjective in our society.